What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. Today is going to be a pretty quick video. We're going to be making a comparison with my 22 by 12 and 33 12 50s versus the stock wheels which are like a 275, 70 on an 18 and like an 8 inch wide wheel. We're going to do a pretty quick comparison on the two. I did the same video with my Silverado and it seemed to do pretty well. YouTube seemed to like it a lot so we're going to do the same thing with the Ram. And also it's a good opportunity to do it right now because I do want to rotate the tires on this truck. They got probably about three to 4,000 miles on them at this point and I do like to keep these wheels and tires rotated like every three, 3,500 miles just to keep a nice even wear and tear on them because they're not cheap. Then also I'm just going to be taking these wheels off, putting the stocks back on for the time being because we're going to be doing a really nice comparison between this truck here, my truck, and this truck right here that I also have in my possession right now. And I think it'd be a more fair comparison with the stock wheels because this obviously has some uh, some OEM tradesman wheels on it too. So uh, we'll get into that here in a little bit. This truck and that truck are very similar, but very different. So we're gonna be doing like a mini series here in the next couple videos comparing the two. All we're gonna do, we gotta pull my truck onto the level because I do live on a hill and I don't wanna swap wheels and tires on a hill. Pull it on the level, we're gonna put these bad boys back on and we'll give you a good comparison between the stock wheel and the aftermarket wheel. Alright guys, here we are, check it out. Check it out, look at this. First look, the stock wheel and tire is 100% taller than my aftermarkets, which claim to be a 33. Look at that, look how shiny that is. Ceramic coating. Um, by the way, can we take a minute to appreciate the ceramic coating and the paint on that truck? God dang, does it look good. Um, but my man Donnie also ceramic coated the wheels and they look phenomenal. My boy hooked it up. Um, but either way, uh, good comparison. Like I said, this is a stock wheel and tire on a Ram Bighorn. It's a 275-70R18. And the stock wheel on the truck is an 18 by eight. So it's 18 inches tall, eight inches wide. What we did and what we upgraded to on the Ram is a 22 by 12 inch wheel. So 22 tall, 20 12 inch wide and then we did a 33 by 12 50 tire but I'm about to bust out the tape measure because that's 100% not 33 inches so stock wheel and tire stock wheel and tire if I go from the ground ground up we're probably we're right there 33 inches just about Look at that, 33 inches stock wheel and tire. It's a 275.70. And my aftermarket, which claims to be a 33 because it says so right there, if you can see it, 33. Round up, what are we looking at? 32 inch. 32 inches, so even though this tire claims to be a 33, it only sits 32 inches tall, where the factory tire is 33. So width wise, we are on different width wheels, look at that stock wheel and tire aftermarket you can look at it this way as well look how fat that is so the stock wheel and tire if you measure just the tread measure just the tread you're probably right around like eight eight and a half inches but if you measure like the tire bubble we're probably around 11 inches wide on a stock wheel and tire. Look how dirty that is. I never cleaned these. Versus my 12 inch wide wheels, or at least they claim to be. So the tires themselves, if I do probably tread the tread, we're probably right there at 12 inches. We measure bubble to bubble. We're probably damn near at 13. So these aren't as tall as they claim to be, 33, but they're supposed to be 12 and a half wide. They're kind of like a 13 wide, really. So they definitely are a lot wider. So you got a lot more surface area on the ground than the stock wheels. And then we're gonna put them on the scale here real quick. I wanna put them on the scale and see how much this weighs compared to this, because these definitely feel a hell of a lot heavier, but I mean, the stock wheel and tires are technically a little bit taller. So let's get them on a the scale. All right, guys, stock wheel and tire. Let's get this bad girl on the scale. 
Stock wheeler and tire, I'm not touching it. 83.2, and I'll roll it up there one more time just to make sure like my hand holding it up is not affecting it. Stock wheel and tire, 83.2. So stock wheel and tire set up 83.2 is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's take uh, let's take one of these bad boys. Ugh, they're hard to turn, man. A buck ten point six, one ten point six. Woo! Do it one more time. One ten point six. I'm not touching it. It's sitting up there because the width. Twenty seven point four pound difference. Wow. That's a lot different than I thought it was gonna be. I thought, I figured maybe it'd be like 10, 15 pounds more. That's almost 30 pounds more a wheel and tire. And if I do four, five times that by four, that's an extra 109.6 pounds added to the drivetrain of this truck. So that's the big thing, man. Once you go aftermarket wheels and tires, for the most part, you gain a lot of weight or a lot of rotating mass on the truck. And these aren't even forged. If you did a forged wheel, it'd be even heavier than these like little aluminum cheap Tiz wheels that I got on the truck. So that is insane. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. I'm gonna get this truck back into pappy mode and I'll see you guys in a minute. A few moments later. All right guys, deed's done. Pappy mode engaged. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it looks that bad. I've been seeing a lot of guys lately run like an OEM wheel, like a bigger tire and a small lift, and they look pretty sharp, not gonna lie. I mean, I'm not saying the offset wheel thing's been overdone, but it's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, so either way, I just wanted to give you guys a quick video comparison, stock wheels versus like the aftermarket wheels, and I am very impressed on how much heavier the aftermarket wheels are compared to these things. And I am kind of blown by the fact that the OEM wheel and tires actually stand up to be 33 inches tall where my 33s are like 32. So either way, that's all I got for you guys today. Stay tuned because we are going to be doing a video comparison between my 2500 and this 3500 in the next couple uploads. So uh, stay tuned for that. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe. Join the family. Join the Cummins builds. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.